Hey guys, it's Coach Dan Boyle. I'm here with trainer Caitlin. We're going to give you some mixed martial arts, cardio kickboxing type of drills, some workout. This is just a taste of what the program is all about. These are only two minute rounds with 30 second intervals. We'll get keep going eventually to three minute rounds and 10 rounds. This is just a little sample of what you can experience. Okay, let's get ready to go. Okay, quick warm up. I would always recommend, depending on your own body, doing a little extra warm up before you start any video. Once you start this, we work with the theory we start at the head and work our way down. So we're just gonna start with our neck up, head up and down, getting the neck loose. Very nice. And side to side. Good. And then we're gonna go circle. Whenever you circle your neck, try to go slowly. And then the other way, for those of you over 35 or so, you're going to hear some snap, crackle, and pop. Good. And then from here, we're going to rotate our arms forward. I'll have Caitlin do that. I'm in physical therapy right now for the shoulder. And we're going to swing it back. Again, full range of motion, guys. Full range. Good. Keep them tight. From there, we're going to stick our arms in front, and we're twisting. Twisting rotating through you got this rotate through beautiful and now let's get our hands on our hips and we're going to just circle around good in my little kids class we call this thing the big hula and again going to go the other way and then our legs will be together and we're going to rotate the knees and this is the little hula other way Good. From here, you're going to try to balance on one leg. Quadriceps stretch. You want to put the knees next to each other. You don't want your leg out here flailing. If you're new and need to hold on to a railing, hold on to the railing to get proper technique. From there, I want you just to bring that leg up straight, holding that balance, and rotating the ankle, trying to get that warm. Beautiful. And then we'll switch legs. Again, she's in tight. Use your other arm. Get used to putting up one arm at all times. Protect yourselves. Now again, we're going to bring that leg forward and rotate in the ankle. Excellent. You got this. We're almost there until we can start. And from there, let's just get wide. Again, we're going to reach straight down. See that? She's straight down. Good. From there, well, let's walk two hands over to your right side. Her flexibility has increased so much from doing martial arts. It's really important. And then walking across, other side. And then straight underneath. Good job. Okay, everybody. We're up and we're ready to begin. Okay, guys, we're about to start round one. This is a two minute round, 30 second intervals. You don't rest until we finish this round. Then you can rest, go to the next round. All right, our hands are up. We're gonna do more of a boxing stance, so we're gonna double jab, which is your front hand, and then a cross. Come right down the middle. Double jab, cross. Double jab, cross. Good, always keeping one hand up at your chin. From there, we're gonna hands up, more of a Muay Thai, and this is our guard, and we're gonna do two knees. One, two, switch legs, one, Two, good. Slightly across the body, beautiful. Toes are pointed down, boom. You're basically bringing someone's head down to your knee. And then from there, hands are up. We got a front leg push kick, a jab across, and then keep that hand out for knee strike. Again, push kick, jab, cross, knee. Beautiful. And then we'll make it simple on you, we'll switch stances. Front leg push kick, jab, cross, Knee, one more time, front leg push kick, jab, cross, knee. Notice how she kept her hand out. When she threw that jab, kept it up to bring that knee. All right, let's get going. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. We're in a fighting stance. Double jab, cross to start out. All punches to the face. Begin, double jab, cross. The jab is your front hand, everybody. Double jab, cross. Rotate that shoulder on that cross nice once you get a rhythm you can pick up your pace 
you had a long day and you don't feel like hitting someone, picture their face in front of you. <laughs> nice, guys. We got five seconds till we start working some knees. Good. Two right knees, two left knees. Boom. 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 Try to bring the knees slightly across. Don't go out wide. Slightly across. Boom. We got 20 seconds. Again, we don't get any breaks until the two minutes is over, which is only about less than 50% of what the whole video is going to be if you purchase the package. We got five seconds to go, guys. Five seconds. Good. F fighting stance. Front leg push kick. Jab cross knee. Good. Front leg push kick. Jab cross back knee. Nice. Whew. Keep it going. Keep it going. I'm not resting over here. You shouldn't rest. Ten seconds. Come on. We got five seconds, and then we're going to switch stances. And switch. Front leg push kick. Jab cross. Back knee. Again, the jab is the front hand. Nice. 15 seconds. Come on, guys. Come on. You got this. We get a quick little break after this. Come on. Quick break. Give me more. We got five seconds. And time. All right, everybody. Let's get ready. Should be loose by now. Should be loose by now. That was a good first round warm up. So our hands are up. It's a front leg round kick, a cross, a hook, and then an elbow. You can come at the elbow at any angle. Again, boom, 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 boom. Always want to keep one hand up. Then we're going to switch stances. Same combination. Front leg, cross, hook, elbow. Again, front leg round kick, cross, hook, elbow. Beautiful. You got that. From next, we're going to... Be here in our Muay Thai stance. We're going to check the kick, push the kick, and then push again. Again, I block their roundhouse kick, I push them, and then I nail them. Good. We lean back on that last one. Then we'll switch stances again. Check 45 degree angle. Booyah. Again, block their kick, push them, and then finish them off. All right, let's go. Round two. Ten seconds. This combination, front leg round kick. Cross, hook, and rotate for the elbow. We start in two. Good. Front leg round kick. Cross, hook, elbow. Front leg round kick. Cross, hook, elbow. Good. Always start these exercises slowly just to get the combination down right. And then you pick up your pace. Good. See at the end, she did a little variance on the elbows. Very good. We got 10 seconds. We got three seconds until we switch stances. And switch. Front leg round kick, cross hook, and elbow. Woo! We're using the whole body here. Lower body, midsection, upper body. You're getting a great workout burn. We're down to 15 seconds. Nice, guys. You're looking good. You're looking real good. Almost there, almost there. All right, fighting stance. You're going to check and then push kick, same leg, and then a back leg push kick. Block their round kick, push them, and then finish them off. Good. 20 seconds. Don't worry if you can't figure out the combination. You can always play this back. I want you moving. It doesn't have to be perfect. Three seconds and we'll switch stances. All right, let's switch again. Check that kick, push kick, push kick. Good. Block. Defense and offense. Beautiful. Doing good now, guys. Doing good now. 
Don't give up on me. We got 12 seconds. Come on. I know you have more. I know you have more. You got five seconds. Finish strong. We need this round. Let's go. And time. Okay. Round three, guys. Round three. Getting ready here. We're going to do a double front snap kick. Key to this is to launch that back leg up in the air. Woo! I almost got a shave on that one. Who needs a razor? Nice. Put your let out of business with this kick. Booyah. All right, we're doing that for 30 seconds, then we switch stances. Again, she launches herself with that leg. Once you do that, you're up in the air. It's a lot easier to switch legs. Good. Then we'll face front, and we're going to put our elbow out. This is the back of someone's head, and we're going to target it, elbow strike two times, switch hips, one, two. Again, switch hips, one, two. Hitting more with the bone here, so it hurts. I don't want roll over. I want straight across. Okay, and then we're just going to end up with a speed bag drill. You can go one, two, one, two, or a non-stop. Do not drop your arms down. Don't do this. Don't get out of this easy. You can do this. Let's go. Ten seconds. Double front snap kick. You can do this covering a lot of distance or tight. We got three. Good. Go. And again, notice that the, kick, the leg that is in front is the actual kick that we're hitting the opponent with. The other one is helping us launch to cover distance. Boom. Good. Notice how she did not drop her hands. You got to ha keep your hands up and protect yourself. Nice. You got eight seconds, guys. Eight seconds. And we're going to switch stances. Same combination. Again, that back leg. Throws your body forward when you're in the air. You switch and kick with that front leg. Nice. Good. 15 seconds. Come on, guys. Come on. I know it's hard to jump off the ground. Some of you might have find this difficult. Don't go as high. Just go quicker. We get six seconds. And boom. All right, face front, targeted elbows, two right, two left. Notice how she just switches her hips, gets right in position. Her hand is behind that person's head, and we're striking so that the head doesn't go back. A little extra enforcement there. 15 seconds, come on. This is where it's fun. If you even had a bag, you wouldn't have to use the target. You just hit the bag. You got five seconds, go. All right, speed bag, speed bag, hands above your head. We've got to be above your head. We want to burn that. We want to get some lats, shoulders, burn them. She's doing a little hop step. If you're doing that, it's just more for cardio burn. But get those arms constantly going. you got 15 seconds. Looking straight the whole time. Get those hands up there, up there, up there, up there. woo -hoo -hoo! Five seconds, guys. And time. All right, from here, we're in our stance. We're going to squat down, keep your hands up, and push kick. Squat down and alternate push kick. See how she explodes on those kicks? That's what I want to see. If you can only just do a little flicker, that's good enough for now. You'll work your way up. Next, it's going to be a front leg push kick to a back leg axe kick. Boom. Again, we're covering some distance here. Front leg push kick. Good. And then we'll switch stances. Again, front leg push and back leg axe kick. Excellent work. And then we're gonna just finish with jab cross, high knees. Again, how fast you go, how high you go is all up to you. You've got this. 10 seconds, guys. Squat, alternating push kicks. We got five. Squat, push kick. Squat, other leg, push kick. Notice the hands stay up. Whole time. Again, depending on your ability, squat deep or squat shallow. As long as you're moving it and snapping out that leg. It's easier if you bring the knee up to then extend the lower half of the extremity. Boom, instead of trying to pick up the whole thing. We got three seconds. 
And then we're in fighting stance. A front leg push kick and then a back leg axe kick. Again, you're trying to swing that leg up. It can bend on the way up, but it wants to be flat on the way down. Think of hitting someone's collarbone. Someone on the head. Good. She's falling forward with the momentum. Kept her hands up the whole time. We got 10 seconds. And then we'll switch. Bah. So here you could go a little bit in to out, out to in, mix it up on that axe kick switch. Front leg push kick, back leg axe kick. Those legs that used to weigh 10 pounds now weigh about 50 pounds. That's the whole idea. We're just introducing you to combinations. We'll introduce more and more movements as we go forward. We've got 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left, and then we get our final 30 second burn. Good. Jab, cross, high knees. Yeah. Again, you can have all sorts of fun with this. You can make your punches above your head and make it a little harder. You can punch one arm and then try to work on your rhythm, which is hard to do. It's a lot harder than you think. There you go. So you had to figure it out. Good. Just make fun with it. We got eight seconds, guys. Eight seconds until we're going to hit some, the floor for some floor work. Come on. Give me more. Three, two, and time. All right, everybody, I'm sure you enjoy that quick little taste of what's about to come. We're going to do real quick floor work with abs. Trainer Caitlin's down. She's going to come up through her legs, jab, cross, and pivot, cross, cross. Notice she had full range of motion. Jab, cross, cross, cross. We don't just stick the hand out like this. We actually turn with it. All right, let's do a 10 count. Ready? And one, two, three. Four, five, if you're at home, you can put your feet underneath something to help you out. Six, seven, eight, or put your feet flat, that will help as well. Nine, and ten. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, now they're awake. All right, one leg straight on the ground, you're grabbing the ankle. Opposite elbow, it lands on the ground, it comes all the way across. We're doing 10 and then we'll switch sides. Ready, here we go, one, two, three, four, five. Even if you can't reach at home, six. I care about the twist, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good job, let's switch legs. Again, what I was saying was even if you can't reach a knee, don't worry about that. I want the range of motion, that quick turn. And one, two, three, four, nice, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Some of you might find it difficult grabbing your ankle, grab the back of your pants or whatever else you got there, or pretend you're close to that, and you can do it. All right, guys, good work on that. Good work on that. All right, now we're laying down, hands underneath us, and we're trying to just stretch out those stomach muscles, kind of look up to the ceiling, keep breathing. Most people make the mistake of holding their breath when they stretch. We're going to come down. This time we're going to come up and look over the right shoulder. Again, sort of look towards the ceiling. That will make that, that stretch even deeper. Exhale and down. Come back up over your left shoulder. Again, keep breathing. Nice. And down. And one more time. Straight up. Beautiful. Okay, let's go down. Let's interlock your hands behind the head. No, we want to we wanna interlock them first behind the head. We're going to squeeze that butt and lower back. We're going to hold that for 20 seconds. We got 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Try to arch a little more. Five seconds. 
and down. Now Caitlin's going to show you stretching her arms. Yeah. For us bigger guys, this is actually a hard pose, but just keep breathing. Keep breathing. She's praying that this workout's almost over. You saw that, folks. All right, she's going to come all the way up, and this time take her arm across. Stretch that out. And we're going to swing the other arm. I hope you had fun with it, guys. Again, this is just a taste. We're excited to have you come join us. Now we're going to roll those shoulders back. We usually like to do that five times. Everything we do is, makes us tight. Hey, give yourselves a hand. Good job, everybody. All right, buddies. I know. <laughs>